Hello, everybody, and happy January 13th, 2022, and welcome to your daily positivity boost with myself, Charles Wood. So today we are celebrating Stephen Foster Memorial Day. Now, I'm sure you're wondering who is Stephen Foster and why are we celebrating this person? Well, he was one of the America's first songwrites and his music is some which, you're, which most of you will recognize. So Stephen Foster uh, did not receive any formal training in music. He actually got his, um, was assisted by a musician and music dealer named Henry Clever. And so he is self-taught to play the clarinet, flute, piano, guitar, and has he had just a natural music ability. So yeah, between 1840 and 1844, Foster begins to write music, um, composes the Tioga Waltz at the age of 14, and becomes a published songwriter at the age of 18 uh, with a song called Open Thy Lattice Love. So in 1848 to 1849, Foster gets his first successful song. He writes a song called Oh Susanna, right? And uh, this is while he was working on his brother's steamship company. Uh, the song goes on to become the anthem of gold miners heading west um, for the California gold rush. In 1850, he signs a contract with New York publisher Earth Pond and Company to write songs for a minstrel band called the Christie Minstrels. Now, according to the publisher's rules, some songs appeared under the Christie's name, and Foster's name um, would not become the songwriter until after 1879. So in 1951, a special dedication was made by, in October by President Harry Truman, uh, proclaiming the dedication of January 13th as a day to remember Stephen Foster. In 1966, the day actually becomes official when Congress votes in um, a bill uh, to actually, a law actually, for the United States Federal Observance Day and celebration in 1967 for the first time. In 1970, Foster actually gets uh, in, in, inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. So how can we celebrate Stephen Foster's Day on Memorial Day? Well, listen to some of his original songs, right? Oh, Susanna, Susanna, Camp Town Races, uh, Old Folks Home, my old Kentucky home, Jeannie with the light brown hair, old black Joe, and beautiful dreamer. You'd be amazed how many of those songs you actually will remember. Why don't you check out a memorial event, right? There's special events all over honoring Stephen Foster. Uh, visit the Stephen Foster Cultural Center State Park in Florida while you're there. And check out the Stephen Foster Citizen Support Organization. Um, or see his memorial at the University of Pittsburgh and others at um, another at the entrance of Carnegie Museum of Natural History. So there are things for him all over that you can see and find out. So learn something more about him. Um, read something about his lifetime, watch a documentary about him, gain some insight into his music, or just go listen to some of his music. So as always, I'm going to ask you to take a photo of how you're celebrating Post it online to all your social media accounts and add hashtag Stephen Foster Day 2022. And I look forward to seeing what you all post and hearing any comments that you have. And I thank you for joining us on the Daily Positivity Boost for January 13th, 2022.